You're welcome to my channel. This is part two of my humble appeal to churches to desist from taking tithes and first fruits because they are instruments of oppression to the people and God does not command it. It is an appeal, like I said. I'm not going to abuse any church leader. I'm not going to abuse any church. I'm just saying that from what the Bible says to me in Deuteronomy uh, 14, verse 16 to 22 or 28 thereabout, you know, Titan is meant for you to be eating yourself when it was being done. Titan, when it was being done, it's meant to be used by you for ceremonial purposes and then you you give to pass to your Levites and the orphans and the needy and the orphans and the widows. So, this is still the topic. This is part two of it. And we are going ahead and the Lord will help us. Let us pray. Daddy, as I continue with this ministration, please help me. And please, touch the heart of my listeners so that they will see the light. Let every one of us see the light and let the truth that comes out of this will set us free from captivity. Father, deliver all those who have been oppressed and who are being oppressed from this captivity of the, the what is this thing called titan and first fruits in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. So as I said, please uh, try. Let us listen together. As I was saying in the previous one, Part one, I said, Titan brought oppression, tried Titan. You know, we need to stop it. We need to, I plead with you. I plead with you. I'm not judging you. I plead with you. I, like I always say, it might be the way you understood it before. But now the truth is clear. I want to plead with every one of us. Many of our churches don't get, they didn't get it right. And that's why you, many are running from churches instead of the churches being filled. I told you of a gentleman. I went to a grocery shop the other time. I wanted to buy something, and I saw an elderly man there who was a staunch member of uh, an Anglican church. And we were talking, and when I go, I greeted him, and the chief attendant has answered and said, I have come to minister to, he said, I have come to minister to this grocery seller and uh, that they, she should be coming to church and so on. The woman answered and said, look, you invite us to the church and you drive us away with money. Demands. So what is the essence of inviting us? That is, that is part of it. As a parish pastor, as an area pastor, a redeemed Christian church of God, when I was there, man, I knew what this thing meant. To me, and to the people, not only tight. It's all money, 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 money. Go to our meetings. No peace. Money, money, money. And I knew how my uh, followers then felt in my parish. In fact, I would go as much as almost rebooking them. I would tell them, things are tight for you because you are not paying your tithes. Things are this and that for you. I became a judge. They only respected me for my age, maybe, and for my position. It was later after I have discovered the truth and I'm beginning now to uh, unlearn or unteach what I have taught that one of them came and said, Ah, thank God, though. you nearly drove us away from the church. Look at the testimony of someone I'm leading. And there are many like that. Many didn't even come at all again. By the time we come with a crusade of money. So sad. If you are one of those who have been a member of wherever I had ministered before I had been a pastor or a preacher, please forgive me. I was teaching what I knew. I knew not better then. Now, today I know better. But my advice to you is, you, know, you don't necessarily have to leave your church. Even though, well, you say a lying church, well, you can't judge them, but all you need to do is 
Stick to what you know is correct. Don't pay tithes. I say that categorically. Because you are being placed under a curse. What do they tell you? They say if you don't pay tithe, you are under a curse. So you place yourself under a curse. Don't pay tithe. Don't pay first fruit. God has given you your child and give your child free. He doesn't collect money. Don't pay it. So uh, I'm absorbed. I've, I taught you before to do, but please, I've now told you because I knew better not to. It is now left for you. So, and then I want to plead with you. Don't revere man more than God. If you worship man and not God, you will miss it. Bible itself makes it clear. Do not trust in man. Do not place your expectation on him. If he falls, not even your pastor. If he falls, you will fall. If he fails, you will fail. Move closer to God. Study your Bible yourself. Joshua 1 8, Hosea 4 6, Matthew 6 33, Matthew 22 from verse 9 downwards, um, James 1 27. All these passages, are, just write them down and go and check them. They will build you. If you know all these things, you will know the right thing to do at the right time. Please, I plead with you. Fellow churches, I beg of you. <laughs> I can't judge you. I can't judge you. But taking tithes and first fruits is like sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Don't wait until you get to heaven to know. Because you are placing people, you are placing people back, you are taking people back to the land of Egypt. You are placing them under the curse of the Old Testament. Remember that the Bible says that it's not even the person that fell, but the person that caused him to fall has greater punishment. That will not be your portion. And the best way for you not to partake of this damnation is to desist from asking your converts to pay tithes and to pay first food. They are instruments of operation. People are agonizing. Let them give what they want to give. Appeal to them to give you money. You can even borrow money from them, but maybe be sincere to pay back if they do borrow you. Then if they don't have, let them serve their God. I beg you, churches, all churches, please. My beloved redeemed Christian Church of God, my daddy, Adeboy, I respect you. I love you. You may think otherwise now. I wrote to you personally about this thing. Please, daddy, stop telling us or your converts that if you don't pay your tithes, you won't make heaven. It is heresy. It is absolute deceit. It is oppression. It is honestly, daddy, it is wickedness. I'm your son. I can talk to my father. I have to, to express my feelings. It is, if, I, if there's anything that is ravaged, that is making the deem to be what it is today in terms of criticism or whatever, it is because the deem is too rigid. And if it were, if you are rigid on what is doctrinally or biblically right, fine. But this one, Titan and First Fruits, Daddy, you got it wrong. I pray for you that you will finish well. I pray for you that you will make heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please, stop oppressing the people with tithing and offering. It is an oppression. We love you. I love you. I continue to pray for you. I will continue to pray for you. Will you continue to pray? Even though I wrote you a letter, I was called from your office to send my email. I sent email. Till today, no reply. Simply, I don't know why. Maybe it didn't even get to you. 
But if it does, you don't need to reply anymore. But what is important is the content. There are many like us who are agonizing. I suffered real pains, financial pains under the Dean Christian Church of God because of this. You can imagine me as an earlier pastor. You give us budget from the headquarters. They will share it to us. And I, the leader, will be the one that will first of all pay 50% of it. Some of the monies I borrowed, maybe from Lakbo and others. Today, the effects are still on me. I pray God will deliver me from it. Then, if we, and then, uh, when the people cannot still pay, I still have to come and pay. I'm not better than them. Then I'm not better for it too. It's the Lord that is sustaining me. Today, you know, I know how much I'm still owing Lapo, all those people. One thing leads to another. Stop make, putting people under financial mess, telling them that God will give them surprise miracles. Miracles are based upon the work of our hands. There's only 28. It is when we work that God will bless the work. Show me a man who is diligent in his work. He shall walk before kings and not before men. men. Tell the lazy man to stop lazing around. Let him labor with his hands. that shall feed and he shall give to others to it. Romans uh, 12 verse 9 or verse 10 or so you know, says work and pray. So let's stop cascading all these pronouncements, they are mere pronouncements. They are mere pronouncements. They are not working as you make us believe. All these other churches, please, if you can't fund the church, don't found one. Go and work. Then be the one funding the church yourself. And God will raise further people to help you. For if you depend upon church, Especially full timers that are saying and working and devoting, or well, plan your life. Oh, there's nothing wrong working for God. Ministry itself, personal ministry is full time ministry. So you can work elsewhere too. If you are a minister, please, if you're a full time worker in the church of God, do part time businesses so that it will help you. Don't let uh, your career come to abrupt end, you will finish well in the mighty name of Jesus. So once again, Lord, I plead with you, have mercy upon me, have mercy upon my hearers, have mercy upon my daddies in the, in the Lord, those who have, them who have been my spiritual mentors, have mercy upon them all, have mercy upon your church as a whole in the mighty name of Jesus. And then, people, pastors, please, you are not scientists in the sense of medicine. Stop talking about COVID. Just pray that God will give somebody the ability to record the breakthrough that we need. God bless you. Please, share this video extensively. Press the like button. Press the notification button so that when I upload another video, you will know. This is how, what I'm inspired to teach this morning. May God Almighty let it have the positive effect that he intends for my viewers. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. This is the end of my, the message to the church. Please also, I recorded one for those of you who are full-time ministers or pastors in the church. Please endeavor to watch it. It's there on my YouTube channel. Always be there. God is sending me a lot of messages to you these days. Please endeavor to watch them. They will help you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. See you later.